Welcome back. In previous sessions, we have seen two families under bipolar logic. Those are uh, diode logic, diode transistor logic. Now, in this class, I would like to discuss another logic family under bipolar that is TTL. TTL is transistor transistor logic. That means it uses only bipolar junction transistors mainly in order to construct the different gates. Okay. There are three different configurations for uh, TTL. Those are open collector output, totem pole output and three state output. Coming to open collector output, the output terminal of the final transistor is in open mode. That's why it is called the open collector. Let us see the circuit for the two input NAND gate. Okay, this is the circuit acts as a two input NAND gate. If you observe the final transistor that is Q3, its collector is in open mode. Its collector is in open. That's why it is called open collector. The output from the terminal. That's why open collector output. Actually, open collector uh, outputs uh, configuration is um, just a modified form of the DTL that is diode transistor logic. You know, in the diode transistor logic, you have four diodes. Two are the input diodes. Two diodes at the inputs A and B. And uh, two diodes in between this uh, input diodes and uh, final transistor. So all the diodes all the diodes are replaced by Q1 transistor and Q2 transistor here. Okay. So the Q1 transistor replaces input diodes, input diodes uh, A and B and diode D1. Okay. Do you remember uh, this, uh, this part of the circuit acts as a AND gate. This part of the circuit acts as a AND gate. Okay. So these three diodes, these three diodes replaced by and a multi emitter transistor multi emitter transistor q1 is called multi emitter transistor because it has two emitters it has two emitters you know each and every junction of a transistor acts as a pn junction pn junction so that's why uh, instead of uh, those three diodes now we are using one transistor one transistor q1 and the diode d2 is replaced by transistor q2 transistor q2 uh, Q3 is as it is. The transistor Q3 is similar to whatever the transistor you observed in the DTL logic. Okay, see. So this is the uh, this is the diode circuit replaced by transistors Q1 and Q2. Okay. Then uh, so that uh, what is uh, why uh, what is the purpose of uh, replacing the diode D2 by Q2 transistor means. If you observe here the Q2 transistor in the emitter follower mode, it is in the emitter follower mode. So in the emitter follower, what is the advantage? The current gain is large. The current gain is large. So that it drives more base current at the base of the transistor Q3. Therefore, its collector current is large. So whenever the collector current is large, therefore the sourcing current is large. When the source current is large, what is the advantage? The fan out is high. Okay, high fan out we are getting. That is the uh, advantage of this uh, TTL network. Okay, then uh, actually you know that uh, that diode circuit um, uh, how that network acts as a two input AND gate followed by transistor Q3 it acts as an inverter. So AND gate followed by NOT gate totally it acts as a NAND gate okay so though we'll see the operation of it okay suppose uh, we, both the inputs are uh, 0 0 at a, a and b both the inputs 0 means we are applying 0 0.2 volts 0 0.2 volts means the junction diodes are in forward biasing junction diodes are in forward biasing therefore at the base of transistor q1 the voltage becomes 0 0.9 volts 0 0.9 volts the by applying the KVL, by applying the KVL, the junction uh, voltage is 0 0.7 volts plus applied voltage 0 0.2 volts. Totally at the base of transistor Q1, 0 0.9 volts we are getting. 
but that 0.9 volts is not enough to turn all transistors q2 and q3 because okay uh, because here only 0.9 volts that voltage is not enough okay uh, since uh, to switch on these two transistors almost uh, here we be at the transistor q3 base to emitter voltage 0.6 volts plus at the base to emitter of transistor q2 0.6 volts plus uh, from base to collector of q1 assume also 0.6 volts so around uh, 0. Point, uh, sorry 1.8 volts you need uh, at the base of transistor q1 uh, in a to switch on transistor q2 and q3 but now we are getting 0. 0.9 volts only that voltage is not enough to switch on q2 and q3 therefore the q3 transistor is in open circuits okay since it is in open uh, the output is become uh, the, that is the output is across open circuit hence the output is uh, since it is connected to vcc through an rl external resistor an external resistor therefore output is output voltage is approximately 5 volts that is considered as logic one okay so for zero zero input for zero zero input the output is logic one similarly so if uh, another cases if you take one of the input is 0 and another one is 1 the same action you can observe at the end okay same around 5 volts voltage we are getting at y that is considered as 1 okay suppose if both a and b are logic high logic high means applying 5 volts value at a and b both the uh, emitter junction diodes of this transistor q1 in reverse biasing Hence, at the base of the Q1, we are getting around 5 volts. Okay, around 5, five volts. Uh, now, this is greater than 1.8 volts. Actually, I said that to switch on Q2 and Q3, the minimum voltage at the transistor Q1 base is 1.8. But now, the voltage is 5 volts. Now, wow, now, the voltage is 5 volts. That voltage is enough to switch on Q2 and Q3. Therefore, Q3 now is on. Hence, the output is almost... Uh, I mean output voltage is short circuited voltage it is almost equal to zero that is treated as logic zero okay so this circuit satisfies the truth table of the NAND gates okay so if you uh, if you are not using this external resistor what happens during logical high case I mean uh, the output is uh, open the output is open so in order to pull up the output voltage properly the external resistor to be connected between uh, the output terminal and power supply vcc okay so this is the operation of the open collector <coughs> so open collector why we need to you i mean uh, the output put in open mode it has some advantages it has some advantages the advantages are uh, we can get the wired AND gate, wired AND gate application you can achieve and another application is common bus facility, okay, common bus, uh, you can share the common bus, okay. So, let us see first of all uh, the application of wired AND gate, wired AND gate, okay, that is uh, without uh, actual gate, uh, just this junction point acts as a AND gate, okay. So, if you tie the outputs of uh, open collector, if you tie the open collector outputs, if you tie the open collector outputs like this junction, that joint point acts as a AND gate. Okay. So, let us see. Suppose uh, this uh, here two NAND gates in the open collector mode are connected, uh, I mean are used here. Both the out both the gates outputs are tied here both the outputs are tied here okay the y become is one when both nand gate outputs are equal to one isn't it if you, uh, the output of nand gate first nand gate is one and uh, second uh, nand gate output also one then only y become one otherwise otherwise what happens if any nand gate output is zero if any NAND gate output is 0, the output is a short circuited voltage. The output becomes a short circuited voltage. Okay, isn't it? Okay, so 
NAND gate output uh, 0 means that Q3 transistor acts as a short circuit. Okay, since these two connected in shunt connection, in shunt connection, if one is in short circuit means the total connection acts as a short circuit. Therefore, the output becomes 0. Okay, so uh, now this junction point uh, acts as a AND gate. How can you say if both the outputs are 1, then only output is 1. Otherwise, what happens? The output becomes 0. Therefore, this junction point acts as an AND gate. Okay. So, now this circuit realizes an AOI gate. If you write the equation for it, if you write the equation for this logic diagram, we are getting A plus B plus, uh, sorry, AB plus CD whole bar. AB plus CD whole bar that is equal to AND or invert operation. Okay. That is the application of uh, uh, this open collector and another application is with open collector gates you can share a common bus to transmit the data. Okay, So in this example I am taking uh, 5 NOT gates. The first 4 NOT gates are in the open collector uh, mode. Okay, So they are supplying data to the 5th NOT gate for example. Okay, So here is the common bus common bus this is the common bus okay now the outputs of all the open collector not gates are tied here so you know the junction point and the open collector outputs are jointed that junction point acts as a and gate that junction point acts as a and gate okay initially assume all the inputs are zeros all the inputs are zeros so that the output of first level not gates are one okay so all are at 1 means the AND gate output is 1. So on the bus line we have the logic value 1. Hence the output of the fifth gate is logic 0. Okay. Suppose if you change uh, the I value, I4 value is 1. If you change the I4 value is 1, what happens? Its corresponding output becomes 0. Okay. Since all these are in open mo open collector model and they are connected in shunt, they are connected in shunt. Okay, so the gate which gives the zero output means there is a, a trans output transistor in short circuited way. The short circuited way. So therefore, all this shunt connection acts as a short circuit. Therefore, uh, on the bus line, a zero value is transmitted. Hence, the output becomes, I mean, y equal to 1. Because of uh, the junction point acts as an AND gate, AND gate, all uh, uh, inputs are uh, ones except to fourth one. Its value is 0. Therefore, output is 0. Hence, uh, y equal to 1. Okay. So, like that. So, here uh, what we can understand is, the other gate outputs, the other gate outputs must be 1 must be 1 to transmit the select gate input the selected input in order to transmit select input so in this example the selected input is i4 the selected input is i4 whereas other gates are i other inputs are i1 i2 i3 so whatever the data you placed on i4 the same data can appear in y can appear at the y okay so like that you can share suppose if you want to transmit i3 data i3 data okay you need to maintain the outputs of i1 i2 i4 gates at logic 1 okay so in that case uh, the y value equal to i3 okay like that uh, a common bus is shared by different gates right that is the application. Okay, next class you can see another uh, model that is totem pole model.